Since Russia's invasion began in 2014, Ukraine's military has transformed from an underfunded and ill-equipped service into a modern, powerful fighting force. With over 200,000 military personnel and millions of dollars in investment, Ukraine now is one of Europe's largest armies. While Russian hybrid forces continue sporadic attacks in the country's east, more Ukrainian troops are being trained to NATO standard to protect Ukraine's sovereignty for years to come. History, hardware, and heroism. Welcome to Ukraine in uniform. Ukraine's Air Defense Unit is a vital part of the country's air force. They are assigned to monitor and protect the skies above Ukraine. Their top priority is to identify and eliminate enemy aircrafts. A surface-to-air missile operator, also known as a SAM operator, must be emotionally stable. They must be able to perform under the extreme pressure of combat situations. SAM operators are our first line of defense against enemy aircrafts. Downing an approaching aircraft would be very difficult without their skillfulness. There are tough daily exercises. SAM operators are put through rigorous training in order to be prepared for battle. This is why training never ends, even for team leaders. Once a trainee has undergone at least six months of exercises, they are designated an operations specialist. In order to become an operations specialist, they must be able to accurately fire a SAM in all weather conditions. It's imperative that an operator is able to identify hostile targets and take the necessary action. At night, it's difficult to identify approaching aircrafts. SAM trainees need to be able to distinguish enemy fighter jets from civilian aircrafts. Every anti-aircraft fighter is in control of their mission. They hold the ultimate power and decide what to destroy. Our goal is to equip them with the knowledge, skill and judgment they will need to make objective decisions on the battlefield. We leave nothing to chance with regard to the construction of our equipment and the training of our officers. The Ukrainian SAM system, known as IGLA, is designed to engage low-flying targets. IGLA is made up of several components, including a rocket, a launch tube, a ground power supply, and the trigger. All these elements come together to create an effective air defense weapon. This weapon would be useless, however, without a trained SAM operator. A well-trained professional is key to a successful mission. The IGLA system firing range is up to 3,500 meters, and its operational range is 5,200 meters. The speed of the rocket reaches 360 meters per second. The SAM simulator teaches soldiers to prepare the system in a few seconds before striking aerial targets. The SAM operators have two objectives. One, engage the target, and two, leave the firing position quickly in order to evade detection and continue performing combat missions. Once the SAM is switched on, a transponder is activated. The transponder emits wave signals, which aircrafts can detect with their radar. In order to evade detection from aircraft radar, our soldiers must not switch the SAM on until they are immediately going to fire. The Air Defense Force consists of radar control, missile defense, aircraft operations, telecommunications, and Air Force leadership. 
The radar division of Ukraine Air Defense are the eyes of the skies above Ukraine. We can see everything which is happening in the air. We can locate with pinpoint accuracy our aircrafts and the location of enemy aircrafts. Basically, radar personnel are constantly watching the airspace over Ukraine. Our most effective radar is the P-18. It is a long-range surveillance radar. It was designed for early detection and can track all objects which are in flight. The radar is equipped with an identification friend or foe system. Ukraine's airspace is divided into various flight corridors which are monitored by separate radar departments. All aircrafts which fly over Ukrainian airspace must provide prior notice and obtain permission. Any aircraft which enters Ukraine's airspace without permission is in violation of our airspace. Any authorized aircraft which deviates even slightly from its flight plan is in violation of our airspace. A radar operator must identify and track aircrafts which violate Ukraine's airspace. They will then transmit all the information to the anti-aircraft missile unit. One asset at the disposal of the Ukrainian Defense Force is a surface-to-air missile launcher known as the Buk M1. It's a self-propelled anti-aircraft missile defense system designed to destroy maneuvering targets at a distance of up to 10 kilometers. It's made up of a command post, missile launcher, target detection station, and a self-propelled launcher. The crew of the Buk M1 never forgets their primary objective, to find and destroy the enemy. This is the workplace of the commander of the SAM. The Buk missile system includes four main components, target location, aircraft recognition, missile launchers, and a logistics element. In general, the system identifies potential targets, then selects a particular target. Fires a missile and then resupplies the system. The missiles require a radar lock to initially steer the missile. To the target until the missile's onboard radar system takes over to provide final course corrections. A proximity fuse aboard the missile determines when it will detonate, creating an expanding fragmentation of metal parts to destroy the target. Airborne 
Aerial combat is carried out with the use of anti-aircraft missiles now more than ever. The anti-aircraft missile division of the Ukrainian Air Force is armed with an effective array of combat-ready assets. They are maneuverable and versatile as they have the ability to operate in all conditions of modern warfare. The aerial combat units of Ukraine can be ready at a moment's notice to intercept enemy aircraft. The servicemen featured in this program all have one common trait, to protect Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. It's these people who take up arms and risk their lives to defend Europe's eastern border from any major attack in the future.